In this video, I'm going to show you one of the other great features added to the overlay optimizer. And this is the exit intent. So what this means is that when the user is intending on leaving your site, you can present them with another pop-up form which has an opt-in in it or a video or some links to your best blog posts. So I'm going to show you it in action here. Now let's say I'm a user and I'm on the page and I'm browsing this page and I decide to leave. Now when my mouse travels up towards the top of the screen to close the browser down, you'll see the pop-up screen pop up. So let's just scroll up here and there you see we're presenting the user with the offer of an opt-in here. So this is the exit intent feature. And if I close it down, what we can go and do is open the live editor. We'll have a look at it, the settings inside. As you can see here again, I'm using this no style button. And again, this could be at the bottom of the page anywhere, just so the exit intent is triggered when the user is in action on the page. So if I open up the settings, I scroll down here and we've got here overlay pop. So expand that menu. And we can see here we've got it checked. So this is the exit intent. This means it's activated. Now we won't be using this first option because if you've got the exit intent ticked here, this won't be switched on. If it's switched on above, this won't matter. This is for the, the delay. So how many seconds for the delay pop? One thing that will work is the exit intent, the number of days. So what you can do here is you can present the exit intent to only show once. The same with the delay pop-up feature. We can cont control how many days apart the exit intent will show again. Um, a very nice feature to add into it is obviously changing the number of days, but it just allows you to control how often this is appearing and not to annoy your customers too much if they're on your pages. Okay, So this is where these features are good. You might want to change it to one, three, and five days again. Um, some people will actually have the exit intent active continually. Now, they are very effective at engaging with the audience or collecting more emails. They're effective. They work well in that um, respect. So just be aware that they can be annoying. If someone, maybe some people don't always intend to leave your browser and they might just be going up and scrolling and looking at something or opening up like a bookmark or something. And, you know, this exit intent can always be triggered in with that effect. So um, they can be annoying, but they are a great way to actually build your email list or even present people with information that they weren't aware of. Remember, you've got such a short time to capture people on your web page. If they were then leaving, you could present them with your best blog posts and links to other areas on your site. You know, it's a very useful way to show people other content. So all the other settings apply where you can change the padding and things to the overlay optimizer. But that is actually, um, that's actually it for the exit intent. You want to check the number of days that you have it active or you just have it running continuously. And again, I mean, they're just very effective. You can see this one. If I scroll up here just to leave, it'll trigger in again. And you can customize anything inside here, as always, with the overlay optimizer.